Hi everyone, happy day, hello! I just had coffee, so I'm very hype and I'm toning it down. <laughs> it is Thursday and oh, I wasn't able to title this live. Hello, hey, how are you? Oh, how are you doing? Hello, hello. All right, y'all, we are gonna be talking about new mom mindfulness and I have a guest, Mika, who is going to be hopping on. She's gonna appear doing this like as if I just drink coffee, you guys. So Mika will get us on. <laughs> How are you? I'm you need it. Thanks. How are you, Leslie? So excited to be here. Yeah, I'm good. I, I just drank coffee, so um very energetic right now. So I'm toning it down for everybody here. <laughs> but uh yeah, so we are gonna be talking about new mom mindfulness. I wish that I could title it um like on top, but let me see something. We might come back and come back in hold on though let me just see if i can pin this comment everybody so we are talking about new mom mindfulness and i have a guest mika um so mika can you please just introduce yourself to everybody yeah sure hello um my name is mika i am, i have a virtual studio or soma practice studio i'm a meditation coach providing um, just combining the ideas of like life coaching and meditation together to provide mindfulness practices for people to enjoy. Um, so that's a little bit about what I do in my journey right now. Um, yeah, so I'm just really looking forward to sharing these practices with people. Yeah, thank you for sharing. So how did I meet Mika? I'm a nosy person, so I ask this question because I know people are like, how do y'all connect? And yes. I just like to share because it, it just shows how you never know. Mm -hmm. um, and hey, Crystal, nice to see you. Um, you never know like what will come right up of like connections. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm understanding more and more that connections are very powerful. But so I don't be long winded. Long story short, how I met Mika is I was at a It's Just Yoga festival. Another person I have connected with over the years who's also in the yoga space invited me to um, host the table for her. And Mika came up because um, I was one of the only ones, one of the only <laughs> black people at the festival. <laughs> and so she was like, you know, you know how it goes. You're just like, oh my God, there's somebody else like me. Like I have to talk to you, you know? So Mika came up to me and we just, you know, exchanged, um, we just started talking and she shared what she's doing. And I was like, oh, this is so amazing. And then we went on our merry way. And then we connected on social media after that. And then fast forward, I was like, oh, I'm having this yoga experience. I would, on the 23rd, I would love for you to do the meditation portion. And she was like, of course. So I just, that's how we met. So, you know. <laughs> I just want to put that there. Like, I didn't even know. Like, if you ask me, like, oh, yeah, you're going to go to this yoga festival, like, and you'll, you'll get, like, um, another connection with somebody. I, would, I, didn't, I wouldn't think anything of it. So knowing now that, you know, that idea came into my awareness, like, I saw what Mika was doing after we connected, how passionate she is about meditation specifically. I was like, okay, I need to invite her uh, to my event. So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I'm excited for uh, sharing meditation. I've been practicing meditation for about a couple of years now. Um, and it's, uh, you know, a lot of people might have misconceptions about meditation and just kind of like, oh, I'm supposed to meditate and like not have any thoughts at all but it's really not the purpose of meditation. It's just to really bring calm and peace and awareness within ourselves. And that's what I love about it as well. So, yeah. And I love that explana explanation because mm -hmm. that's the reason I love 
that's something I always say in my meditations, like when I guide them. And sometimes I'm like, man, am I, I saying the same thing to y'all? But mm -hmm. a lot of people still have that uh, misconception that you have to clear your thoughts. And that's mm -hmm. like monks, they <laughs> train years to do that. Like, so an everyday person, like, yeah, that's not possible. Like, we're, I always love to say, we're human beings, we have a thinking mind. Exactly. Because I feel like, right? And I feel like a lot of us, when we meditate, we come into it already having like, okay, I'm gonna clear my mind. <sighs> I'm gonna clear my mind. And it's like, bro, like, calm down. Yeah. Look at those thoughts. So um, can you give briefly, like, what made you start your meditation? Because you said you started a few years ago. So what made you start your meditation practice? Oh, I, I really have to... So <laughs> my mind just went, ah! So I started um, practicing yoga, actually, about 10 years ago, Ashtanga yoga. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my teachers, I always credit my Ashtanga teacher yoga, uh, yoga teachers to this because they guided the breath and the yoga practice so um, intertwined. Yeah. And they said that yoga... Uh, the postures were meant to bring you to a pa to a place of meditation, mm. and then since then I was just like, well, meditation is where it's at, <laughs> and I would just tell everyone to meditate. I wouldn't even say do yoga. Yeah. <laughs> I would just yeah. say meditate. And so um, over the past couple of years, I was introduced to um, the idea of uh, like Tantra meditation in terms of like the alchemy of bringing like all of your body, like a holistic way of breathing um, into my meditation practice. And I just really enjoy all, all of the aspects of it because it's, 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 it, it, it includes your whole body. It's not just your mind. And then once you come into connection and greater awareness with your breath and your mind everything um there's like a kind of clarity that happens mm -hmm. as well as a release of tension and stress and then being able to respond in the moment um differently all i can say is differently <laughs> with expansiveness and it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper the more you practice. A hundred percent. And I love that because I don't feel like, I really love how you said the way you teach is like helping people tap into their body. Like what I heard you say, like their physical body. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when people think of meditation, they just think the mind. Mm -hmm. But in order to calm the mind, you have to calm the body first, typically. Like if you're an everyday person, specifically like the title of this live is like if you're a new mom and it isn't that like i know some people have be looking at the title of the flyer and like new mom mindfulness like mm -hmm. you're probably not even thinking of mindfulness as a new mom mm -hmm. but it's actually imperative to be mindful as a new mom mm -hmm. and so um oh and crystal here is saying mika that your voice is so calming Aww. And Ravine is here and some other thank people um, that I've connected with in the past few months are here. So thank you, everybody, mm -hmm. for joining. I'm just um, having this live um, so you all can be introduced to the guest teacher that will be at the Escape with Azleen Yoga Experience that's mm -hmm. taking place on April 23rd. Yeah. Um, but I want, Mika, you to go into, um, are, are you are you, are you parent or mom or anything? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't I want to assume i was like i'm pretty sure you want yeah. to go that ask okay yeah no that's cool and i i want to bring people in the space that have different perspectives and um can you go explain like how can a new mom like who has a little baby that is <laughs> depend the, the little baby is so dependent on this mommy how can she practice mindfulness mm -hmm. yeah that's such a good question i feel uh and taking care of such a little one, there's a lot of pressure to um, just be there and all of your being goes into taking care of uh, someone else, this little baby that's new into the world. And so I feel like meditation and mindfulness provides the opportunity 
um, that can be practiced in any moment to come into awareness of the breath so that you can remain um, present with your baby because the energy that you have is also transmuted or trans, you know, is exchanged with the baby. So then the baby's picking up on that as well. Um, just humans in general, we're always feeding off each other's energy, but even more so uh, babies and young children, they're just sponges. Ooh. And so as a mom with these new expectations, um, uh, a person who's literally dependent upon you, uh, mindfulness and meditation, uh, finding those moments uh, allows you to replenish mm. your own energy, mm. replenish your own vitality, mm. and replenish your own joy mm. so that you can continue with the things that uh, to care for this other human being with gentleness and care coming from the inside out. So, yeah. That's beautiful. You said that so good. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that was so good. And this, guys, I just want to share, like, I didn't, I just met Mika, like, a month or two ago. Yeah. And it just shows the power of collaboration. We cannot do anything alone. Like, even if you are not a business owner or have a business, like, you cannot do anything by yourself. You can't even do your job by yourself. Like, maybe you are working from home doing, but, like, it's a team. It's a team. Like, everything requires collaboration. And Mika is, is saying what I try to say with meditation, but so much better, so much more eloquently. Um, so I really appreciate that explanation of meditation specifically for new moms, mm -hmm. because what I also heard you say is meditation gives moms, new moms energy. Mm -hmm. And typically in the motherhood corners of the internet, you become mm -hmm. a mom and people are just like, oh, I'm exhausted. And yeah. it's like, well, damn, like, this is what it's going to be like. And that was me. When I first, first became a mom, it was like, all right, girl, your life is done. And I was like, I don't like that. Mm, my life is not done. My life is not over. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really hard to, like, refute that, like, to, like, in Leandra, hey, Leandra, hey, Char. It's really hard to, like, kind of be like, no, my life is not over. So one of the ways that I kind of, like, took a stance on that was coming back to my yoga practice was coming back to meditating, breathing, mm -hmm. doing those things. Yeah. So I really appreciate like, because when you said meditation gives new moms energy, mm -hmm. that is something a lot of people have noticed in me. They're like, how are you so just yeah. you got all this energy and you got two kids? Yeah. Like my kids are what's called Irish twins. So they I had them very close together. Okay. So typically you would you would probably find me probably all tired all the time or not happy and exuberant but because of yoga mm -hmm. and meditation and coming back to myself yeah. that's really what it was yeah. I'm able to find that energy again mm -hmm. more energy actually yeah. like than before kids which is something you don't hear yeah. a lot so I appreciate that mm -hmm. um but but yeah, so do you have anything else that you want to say before we um because we'll wrap up in a little bit yeah I was just gonna say like the consistent practice over time is what balances out your nervous system and so as you're going through different changes like life changes in general can throw your body out of balance and so the yoga and meditation together consistently or you know just regularly over time um, just a little bit a day can have such impact in um, benefits what would you say when it comes to consistency and like a little bit what is a little bit for a new mom like how many minutes because i'm very type a so you got to tell me 10, ten? Oh, ten. okay you can do five or ten minutes five to ten just really uh noticing your breath because when you practice more when you're like on the go you're you're intense you might lose your breath Right. So you're like, <gasps> and you don't even notice it because it becomes natural to not be breathing deeply. So even just taking like five minutes to breathe 
deeply and and really come into your body it's a little bit more than it's a little bit different i don't want to say more it's different than fitness breaths because i believe fitness breaths they're like don't forget to breathe <laughs> but you're always breathing out really hard on the exhale and so when you're doing it mindfully you're also wanting to equalize your inhale and exhale so it's just mm. you can just do that 30 seconds two minutes five minutes but five minutes a day would really help yeah that is, mm -hmm. that is wonderful and yeah the more consistent you are with it it's not an overnight thing like me just said you have to be consistent with it mm -hmm. New habits take a while. They take, yeah. what, like 60 to 90 days? Yeah. I don't say that to discourage people. I just say that, like, once you get over that hump of the 60 to 90 days, you're going to realize that your body craves it. That's something with me. I notice, like, when I feel tense or going back to what Mika said at the beginning of this conversation, when you're having that, when you're holding that little baby or even the toddlers looking in you in the face, wanting a snack or whatever it is, and you're just like, what, what do you want? And you're like snapping, exactly. like even before you say what, like the kid yeah. can pick up mm -hmm. on like that energy. So yeah. then how to fix that energy is by meditating, mm -hmm. is by stretching your body. We hold stress, tension, yeah. anxiety, all of these things, they're, they are in different parts of our body. Yeah. So it's very important to move it mm -hmm. around and out in essence. Yeah. Um, for, I think we are, I think there is a, a thing for when people, oh, if you're nervous, just take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. But I think with, with mindfulness and meditation, it's more of a intentional deep breath of recentering yourself in a way um, that's, a, yeah, it's just different. <laughs> I feel like it's also an experience that's hard to describe yeah. until you just like start like doing it. And even like, it's not overwhelming, so that it's not overwhelming at least three to four times a day, just like any routine, mm -hmm. not four times a day, four times a week. Okay. If you carve out that time, at least four times, three times a week to begin, and then start to gradually just do it every day, your body will actually crave it. Mm -hmm. It will be like, oh man, I gotta. Yeah. <laughs> and you will make time you will. for something you're craving, just like you always make time to like drink the coffee. Right. I'm talking. <laughs> I make time to drink my coffee every day. And so if we can think of meditation that way, it's like, I am going to meditate like I drink my coffee every day. And it's just, it's amazing. It is. <laughs> It really yeah. is. Yeah. And that's, um, Leandro is saying that's what exercise does for her. Like, mm -hmm. we all have to find, yeah. like, maybe meditation is not your thing. Maybe yoga is not your thing. But you, it's everybody has to find something yeah. that will help you um, regain that energy, yeah. um, be a happier person, mm -hmm. um, have that inner peace yeah. that surpasses all understanding. Like, <laughs> these are ways that you can connect back with yourself, with God whomever you believe as the higher source, like these are the ways that you stay grounded. Yeah. Um, um, we're going to wrap up in a little bit. So for those that are still on this live, I'm having a yoga experience on April 23rd. Mm -hmm. The link is in my bio. Mika is going to be doing the meditation. So it's not just going to be me doing 50, 11 things. <laughs> I am bringing in other people. So how it's going to go is Mika will open up with a meditation and she'll also be sharing with you guys how to use the Escape with Leslie Wave oh, eye yeah. pillow. So she's going to tie this in. Like she's going to show you how to meditate with this um, mm -hmm. because everybody that comes to the experience will be getting one of them that you can take home. Um, and she'll explain all of that. Also, then we'll move. I'll do the sound healing. And then she's going to close us out with um, her meditation. And everybody that's on this live, 
if you um because you're on this live i'm gonna give you a discount for the event and i'm gonna put it's mika's code here so if you use the code mika10 all caps it should be dm me if it doesn't work like my dm is open please or text me because i know it's mostly friends and stuff um that is the code mika10 you'll get 10 percent off of the yoga experience if you are watching live or if you're watching this as a recording, I encourage you to bring a friend, make it a girl's day, make it a hashtag self-care Sunday. It is in a beautiful space, um, natural vibes. They are an incredible black owned company that's been really supportive of me. Like I just actually connected with somebody else a little while ago and she's like, yeah, the owner, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow. So it's just going back to collaboration mm -hmm. and I'm just really happy to to bring Mika on board for this experience. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're watching live, the mm -hmm. code is Mika10. You get 10% off of the yoga experience and you will get a weighted eye pillow and you'll have an option. I got, I got options, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you have two options, okay? So you have this one or this one. Um, I'm really excited for this mm -hmm. yoga experience. I'm really excited to bring other people that look like me to explain like on a deeper way because I'm I like to do the movement aspect that's fun for me um but I realized like my zone of genius I can do a guided meditation for people but that's not my zone of genius at this time I'll say that but Mika does it wonderfully please follow her um, and see how she has a bunch of meditations on her page so like if you're like I don't know where to start just go on Mika's page. Um, do you have anything else, Mika, that you want to say before we hop off? No, I'm looking forward to it. I will, um, I have my hello, and I'm super excited to uh, do a little uh, video about it because I have a couple of different pillows, eye pillows, and yours is way different that I love. Oh. And so, yeah, I can't wait to share that. And someone asks if, if there's an ideal time of the day to perform meditation. Um, like traditionally, they say in the morning is good before you wake up in the morning when your brain, before your brain starts really processing all the thoughts. But also just like anything, I mean, meditation can be performed throughout the day. Um, it can be in the morning, it can be in the afternoon, it can be at night before you go to bed. And like, it's a great way to have a restful sleep, um, to have a meditation before you go to bed. So really the key uh, way to get the most benefit out of the meditation is setting up your intention and, and the purpose um, for the meditation. So I'm just gonna stay there because I can keep talking. <laughs> That is very oh, that helps anytime, anytime, basically. Mm -hmm. That was a great anytime. question. Thanks, Leandra, yeah. for asking that. Yeah, that was really good, though. What you said of having an intention of having a purpose. I recently talked about intention on my on my page because oh. mm -hmm. it's important, right? You're right to have an intention. Like, why are you meditating? Like, what is the reason? Mm -hmm. Like, is it because you know, you're wanting to find more peace in your life. Like, and that's, that's okay. And you don't have to have the answer. Like, you don't, I think that's something I used to struggle with. And this will be the last thing I'll say. And then Mika can say her closing things as well. That was something I struggled with was coming into the meditation thinking like, I have to like, have the answer. And you don't. No. You don't. No. It's so powerful. You're coming into connection with yourself. Yeah. And yourself is, uh, yeah, being allowed to expand and guide you. So, yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I love so, it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the event on April 23rd and, like, meeting everyone and uh, working with you, Leslie. Thank you so much for inviting me on this experience. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to get out in person as well, because I've been in the virtual space <laughs> for a long time as well. <laughs> so yeah, everything about this uh, collaboration has been great and a wonderful experience. So. Yeah. And I know one of my friends just popped on, Merlene. Hi, Merlene. We're closing up, but we were just talking about um, 
I'm bringing somebody else on board for my uh, yoga experience that's taking place on April 23rd. For everybody that's here joining live, I encourage you to sign up. Link is in the bio, the Escape with Leslie and Yoga experience. Use the code Mika10. Hey, Merlene. Use the code Mika10. You'll get 10% off of the experience. And it's okay. And then everybody um, will be getting a, that comes to the event, will be getting a weighted eye pillow. So you have options of which one you will get. If you are out of town, because I know um, Jasmine, she, I think she's up, she's up north. You can go on my website and you can purchase one. I do ship um, nationwide for n right now. <laughs> I know I have some friends across the pond. Right now we're, we're staying in the nation, in the well, United States. But um, yeah, use the code Mika10. You're watching live, so that's the discount code that we're giving to you. Mika will be the meditation um, coach, so she'll be doing the meditation. So if you've been to an experience with me, I normally do all of it. But I'm, decide, I'm realizing now like there's power in collaborating, there's power in, in letting others take up the space too. Mm -hmm. And Mika's voice you hear is very calm. It's calmer than mine. Also, I have had some espresso, so I'm very hyper right now and I'm kind of bringing it down. Um, but she has a very calm voice. Please follow her, follow her, follow her, support her. Um, I think that's it for now. But yeah, link in bio, y'all. Bring your friends. Like, so you sign up and bring a friend, okay? Mm -hmm. And there is power in numbers. There really yeah. is. There's power in numbers. And it's, yeah, I'm just really thankful. Like, I know you're probably really thankful, Mika, but I'm, like, really thankful because it's just, I, I never would have thought, like, that Leslie Does Wellness would evolve in this kind of way where I'm able to, to in essence, help you you too to expand what you want to do um in whatever capacity that means for mm -hmm. you yeah so it really warms my heart yeah thank you so glad i did that beeline i know <laughs> you, you literally like i said y'all at the yoga fest i was one of the only black people and we go la la and she just she's like black person <laughs> to do but we're doing the work we're showing yeah. up um showing that black women yeah. we especially need all of the self-care but yeah yeah Marlene if you she literally like it was like Droom. she like beelined <laughs> it to me at the table and I met her there and it's been like a month or so Marlene knows too once I meet you and if I I just it feels good mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you to work in mm -hmm. some kind of capacity <laughs> So, you know, here Mika is now on a live with me and yeah. doing all of these great things. So I have to hop off, though. Um, I have a call at 3.30. So I'm going to go. I will make sure I share this live that it lives on the on our pages um, and all of that great stuff. All right, everybody. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.